Okay, here we are. Hi, folks. We are back. It is time for another go at the thousand year old vampire. Previously, we played as Tiberius, the loyal son of Rome. Now, Annika and I have created a new character because, well, we basically thought that surely Tiberius' story was a very tragic one, but surely we can do better. <laughs> we can do better than that. Because, good lord, he had a rough time. So, Instead, we have gone for something different. We are now playing Ragnar Bjorn Sigurdsson. Uh, a young, up-and-coming, and ready-to-prove-himself Danish Viking. Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, let's give a quick, a quick little overview here uh, of Ragnar. Uh, we have chosen to put this in the 9th century um, during and uh, leading up to the great Viking invasion of England. Uh, specifically what's called the Great Heathen Army around 860-something. <coughs> um, so uh, Ragnar here is a... Um, a young Viking coming along in eager to prove himself on the field of battle. He is he's ready to go, uh, but uh, as is the case in these stories, uh, is a bit derailed on the way there. Um, he um, memories, I suppose. Um, so I can start with the first one. I am Ragnar Bjorn, son of Sigurd, and born in Ribe on the west coast of Jylland, which is uh, Denmark. I am the youngest son, a Norseman eager to prove my ferociousness and bravery by reaving East Anglia. He, um, as a younger son, he can't expect to uh, inherit too much. Um, and as such, uh, have decided to try to prove himself on the field of battle. If he can steal enough money and resources, uh, then maybe he can build a life for himself. He would want it. Far away from father's farm and all these boring, boring people uh, in in West Zealand. Um, yeah, that was memory number one. I'll, I'll just go through this, I suppose. Uh, do you want to explain memory number two? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're a um, we're a young Norseman. We we're going to to sign up to to go with the Great Heathen Army. Um, and when we went to do that, uh, we brought our beloved axe, Oxyclua. Uh, find the made great axe. It's it's uh, our dear, our dear, dear weapon. Um, we had told everyone the name of it, introduced it, showed it around, uh, and it was very impressive. But later in the night, um, throughout the halls, uh, the great hall of uh, of our sort of. Um, our oh, idol, I will almost say, um, Galmar yep. Torkelson, a proven Viking who himself has done much raiding and who has looked at us with some favor in the past. Uh, it's his party because we're going with him on his boat. Um, but we heard a song echo uh, and everyone beginning to laugh. And it was a song about how we had been naming a weapon that had never seen battle. Um, everyone, everyone thought it was incredibly funny. And uh, we we didn't uh, find that so funny. No, uh, it was another uh, person who's going who's called Adelstein Adelsteinson. Yeah, uh, it's a smug, red bearded uh, sort of raucous mm -hmm. uh, guy, probably a couple of years a senior. And oh. um, he thought it was really funny to to sing about how green we are. And yeah. um, man, have we never lived that down? Since. Oh, God. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. It's but, um, embarrassing. Yeah, and just thinking of it now, it just makes us feel make makes makes our face as red as his beard. Yes, it, it's it's a problem. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Um. And uh, Jalmar is our big idol, as my that is a proven Viking. He um, he's looked upon as a local strong man. Everyone respects him greatly. Uh, and he actually took us on a cattle raid, steal some uh, some cows and sheep from uh, from a nearby settlement, and 
after that raid, which went very well, Yalmar uh, turns to us and gives us an arm ring of gold. Uh, an incredibly valuable piece, and uh, I explained the earlier a way of carrying your wealth around you. Uh, like we basically got handed a big wallet with money, pretty much. Yeah, it's uh, you know, Kalvar has several arm rings on his arm. Oh yeah, to show that how how cool and badass he is. And he took one off and gave it to us. Yep. And now we feel incredibly indebted to him. Yes, uh, he's so cool, and he thinks maybe we could be as well. And, yeah. Um, we, We're very inspired. We, we will follow him. When he sent out the call to g gather the great host, we knew we had to go with him. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, he knew too. Oh, it's yes. a very calculated move on his part. But um, to us, it means a lot. We it treasure does. that rig very much still. Oh, yes. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, before that, though, like bef before, before everything is gathered, probably a few years or so before all of this, there is a bit of an uproar Nature, even. Um, as um, an escaped prisoner uh, or man from the, uh, the Jarl um, actually shows up in our steading. <laughs> it's, um, or Tula, as it were. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the Jarl's men search for the escapee Ducey everywhere, um, but we had actually hid him. Um, his crimes are apparently many, and he's still viciously sought for after by the Jarl. So we um, took the opportunity, made him our thrall. As long as he does what we say, as long as he pleases us, he is safe. If he does not, we will return him to the Jarl. Yeah, but we've discovered that Duse has a couple of uses. Apparently. He used to be someone who could read. Um, you know, it's not something we've cared about, but uh, we don't actually really know who Duse here is, but he has been serving us very loyally because he does not want the Yal to find out who he is. Um, right. Because he would presumably hurt him a, a, whole, a whole bad deal, yes, whatever he did. Exactly. So from these uh, memories so far, we have a last one, but we'll get to that, I think. Um, we have concocted the skills Hack and Cleave. Um, imagining that Ragnar here is a pretty good fighter, all in all. He hasn't tasted real battle, but he can surely swing an axe pretty good. Oh. Um, he has won many tournaments uh, or local, you know, competitions in axe. Yeah, fisticuffs, axe throwing, um, like, uh, like um, log vaulting and other very incredibly manly uh, Viking pursuits. Um, he is a, a skilled carouser, likes partying. He can swing. Uh, he can he can he can swing a, um, a goblet of uh, of wine or a mug of mead with the best of them. He can sing songs, and it's generally just a, a life of the party type of dude. Uh, and he's also an unscrupulous opportunist. Um, Playing, uh, like, trying to aspire to be brave and, and honorable and such. But if, you know, fate places something in his way um, that he can gain something from without risking too much or perhaps just doing some, you know, minor uh, skullduggery, not above that. So he's, a, he's unscrupulous and an opportunist. He won't feel bad if fate place a hand for him no put something in his lap and some sometimes the hand of fate must be forced Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> i have heard i have heard uh yes all right uh so yeah jonas why don't you just continue with we mm -hmm. we you know we have the picture we have our axe yep. we have we we need to show adelstein that this song he made up definitely isn't good yep. uh, people need something else to talk about mm -hmm. from us um Yalmar didn't laugh. Yeah. Uh, respect him a lot for that. Yeah. And um, uh, and we'll we'll go, and we'll we'll be by him and and, and show him. Oh now. yes. Beyond that, there's also uh, at home. There's this um, there's this girl you see. Mm. Um, she's very beautiful, and very nice, and we we like her a lot, and uh, and she's really cool, but. 
problem is we're not really anybody important and um we don't really know why she would even really look our way no she likes us obviously but not like maybe seriously we're not really sure where we stand uh Mm -hmm. we're pretty young and uh clearly we haven't really figured this whole thing out so another reason we're out here is because when we come back with arm rings of gold and a cool warrior in a couple of years she'll be incredibly impressed and more importantly We'll have money to to pay her dad. So um, yep. so that's, you know, that that really is that solved at yep. that point. So um, that's also an important uh, important pursuit. All all of these things together have placed us upon Yalmar's ship. Yes, sailing with the great northern host to East Anglia. Yep. Uh, however, on the way, mm. things strange happens. Yes. Uh, on the way to the uh, to East Anglia, the men of the ship become sick. Um, they off. They they seem anemic, uh, sort of just tired, listless. Um, and we too f- feel this like weak and enfeebling miasma, sort of hanging over the ship. We don't know exactly why. Our, our arms and legs ache, you know, that sort of feeling when you kind of had too little sleep or bad sleep and you're a little bit feverish. It's just, you know, it's, it's not good. And the, the winds on the, um, on the way to East Anglia on the open ocean is certainly harsh. And we uh, huddle uh, underneath a, um, a blanket and a tarp, you know, some... Some, some wolf uh, skins and whatnot to just try to hide from all the coldness and regain our strength. Um, but then something happens. We, the, the cargo uh, pallet or like cargo uh, sack that we have been um, like, like seeking shelter with our backs towards um, suddenly moves. Um, and from it emerges a shriveled husk, uh, like a like a like a moving corpse. The the look of just so yeah. If if something was like uh, had been frozen in a glacier for a long time and then thawed, that's sort of how it looked. Um, with gnarled, shriveled fingers grasped us before we could uh, like call out to anyone and dragged us in deeper underneath the tarps and 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 clothes and things and he held us in his cold uh, embrace in that darkness and filled us with the same um and now we cannot we cannot emerge we have called out to the others that we are sick and they should not come close while we instinctively hide uh from the the blazing sun that that suddenly scares us more than anything uh, deep under the tarps and the cargo of the ship we um we have uh, learned from the wheezing creature that it calls him itself glamour and we are convinced it is a draugr and that we are cursed uh with its with its just you know, life leeching on death. Whatever purpose. Mm-hmm. How Glamour came to be on the ship, we are not sure. He doesn't speak much. No, it's just been cradling us. Um, so, um, from the Draugr's touch and curse, um, our mark is that uh, the deepest chill of a hell suffuses our body. And so we wear heavy clothes to avoid a touch of others. If someone touches our bare skin, we touch them. It's just this deathly cold emanating. Okay. All right. With this settled... With that cheery story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything was so great up until the last prompt. God yeah, damn it. That's how it goes. Uh, yeah. But yeah, on our, on our way to reaving in East Anglia... We have been um, rudely been dragged off course. 
and even as we you know slowly regain our strength uh, under there we are changed uh, in a most profound and hideous way and how this will play out who on earth knows yeah i mean i'm curious i am curious as well um for sure so that i have the is that uh I uh, I just noticed that my um the the way it displays the book is a bit odd. So I mean, there's the there's the spread version. There's the single page version. There's yeah yeah. I'm doing there we go. See a single uh the spread. That's what we're doing. This better already. Um, your book. Sorry, folks. There, uh, every time you, every time I open this, it looks a little bit different, so it's kind of difficult to to properly, properly adjust. That's fine. Okay, that's fine for now. All right. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, to begin, we start counting at prompt one. Roll a d six and subtract it from a d ten. Oh, and move that many prompts. We cannot go backwards further than prompt one if we get a negative number from this early roll then we just get prompt one all right so uh, i started rolling last time mm -hmm. uh, which means i think you should begin now all right i shall roll the first one let's go let us see what we get all right it is a zero prompt one prompt one let me read it oh in your blood hunger, you destroy someone close to you. Kill a mortal character. Oh, no. Create a mortal if no one's available. Take the skill of bloodthirsty. Uh-oh. Who's on the ship? <laughs> yes, well, we have we have Jalmar and we have Adelstein on the ship. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one of them that's more tragic than the other, but I think I think we we're we're still in control. We need to drink blood, right? Yes, do. Um, and we would. I mean, if someone has to go, yes, surely it should be Adelstein, right? Adelstein, he hasn't been that sick. Maybe he's like at the front of the ship, far okay. away from the tarps and stuff. Uh, so he is he's one of those good moods. He he likes he, he does his songs and whatnot to keep people mm. in good spirits during this trying time. Um but he has to sleep sometime. He does, he does. And we, we have, as it turns out, a lot of time to wait. And now and laying back it. there. In in our blood hunger, we destroy someone close to us. Mm -hmm. So similarly to how our how we were pulled under the tap, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Uh, now it is us who who creep uh, around in the darkness. Because I'm thinking, like you lay, we lay there in the far end of the ship, un, under all the tarps and in the darkness and the cold, and we just hear him mm. singing that those cheery tunes and just the, the mocking tone of his voice is just like the anger just bubbles within us. To me, it, it's it's more like this scene. Let me paint it right. It's night. Rocking back and forth, there's people like coughing and such around. Oh. We 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 are thirsty. We're so thirsty. Just uh, we see him there, and we're like, oh, just, we hate him, but we're we just it's Adelstein, Adelstein, please give, give me a. Would you give me a mug of water, please? Yeah. And Adelstein looks at us, and he made a song. He didn't actually mean anything terrible by it. Uh -huh. he takes a cup of fresh water from the water barrel and moves to hand it to us, but drops it as we grab his wrist instead, uh, pulling him in. Mm -hmm. a, a sudden, with a sudden speed and ferocity mm -hmm. to, to slake our thirst. Yep. Uh, his, his good deed is, his, will be his, his final. And um, I suppose we dump his corpse over... Over the side yeah. of the ship, right? Just yeah. throw it into the sea after Everyone's we're done. Everyone's sick. No one's going to notice. Just look, T. He's, uh, he's clean. Um, 
God, I bet you there's a problem in the future that's like one of the people you killed comes back as a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as the Amstein, that will be dead. Uh, and we are now particularly bloodthirsty. We've had a real taste for 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 drinking people till their heart stops. Sadly um, for us, Tuesday, we're nowhere to be found. Uh, no, but he's not a person. I can't. No, he's, he's, he's around here somewhere. Yes, he's something or the other. Maybe he's seen. Maybe he's noticed. I imagine he would. But he hasn't said anything. Crosses himself and says nothing. Yep. Okay, so this seems to be um, uh, to memory too, right? Yeah, it, it does. Um, it does. It does seem to add to that. So it'd be something like, uh, uh, as say thirst on uh, on the ship, I call out. Uh, for water, for yeah, for water, uh, and Adelstein offers cup. He dies as I as I drain his. Call that like because we during his life we uh, do get bloodthirsty right so we we i imagine we drain him dry yeah just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. completely and uh, so not dies he, he withers withers yes and and that so i drain the life because that that um body. you know normally a vampire would feed a little not to, to mm -hmm. you know not slay but we now like that last drop, yeah. that that last gasp, uh, is like, that's that's the best part, <laughs> you know. As the that fear, that, yeah, he felt as he died only made uh, the thirst uh, stronger. Yeah, something like that. Yep, we're we're, we're getting a taste for it. Mm hmm. Classic and young vampire problem. Mm hmm For sure. All right. Yeah. All right, well, well, I'm sure I'm sure this will not uh not get worse. No, let's uh <laughs> let's see where else we where else we go. Yep. So um, go ahead. Now I will roll. Uh, we shall record this prompt. Uh yes, I did. Um, Looks like we're going to prompt number three. Prompt three. Uh, uh three steps forward. Wait, uh, yeah, so... Oh, yes, you're right. Four, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> you are exposed and flee to a neighboring region. Lose any stationary resources. Check a skill. A mortal flees with you. What new name do you adopt among these strangers? Mm. We are discovered... Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. Can't hide this shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got to be Yalmar who flees with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because there's no one else here who could. Unless Fergunda somehow stowed on the ship as well, but that'll be She's a lot of stowaways. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think I think the reason he flees is um, we're exposed and flee. Lose stationary resources. We don't have those. Check a skill. What do we do to escape? Hack and cleave. Do we fight our way to escape? Mm. No, they're all weak, man. Mm. I think it's more of a. I think it's almost a. Like this boat is going nowhere, and I think more. It is not like. I don't think it's the people on this boat that discover. I think it's the other people of the fleet who see oh. this ship is contagious. Oh, pestilent! And, and they see us like upon it, and it's like no, like they, you know. Shoot that thing with a fiery arrow. Uh, we don't want that shit. 
someone comes here. close to investigating just and just sees like the state of everyone there and they're like so why probably, probably even in the light where we haven't seen because we're under the tarp mm -hmm. more bodies are there yeah. that have been drained and are dead and pale and everyone's so anemic i don't think glamour here uh, the drow here really uh, cares too deeply either no um so yeah, it's it's you know it's exposed. So so I'm I'm thinking, what do we do to escape with uh, with our 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 friend? Uh, because that means that Yalmar here is is dying. He, he's dead too, right? He doesn't have a choice. It's true. We we can uh, bring we, him we with take us. Take him with us. Yeah. Take him with us. Um, now our our skill. Mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, being opportunistic if we don't find our way out it would have to be the unscrupulous opportunist yeah i think yeah. um we maybe we sink the ship maybe we do it's just we sink it get away from everything um maybe or maybe that's the reason we bring yalmar maybe that's the opportunist sort of you know sure. uh we, maybe we lie to him yeah. we tell him that, that they turned against his his ship or something we can still we can still gain fame if we just mm -hmm. have him believe us forget 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 the great horde we can we can forge our own path mm -hmm. yeah yeah what, what do you think i mean it's a little bit of a i think it's the one that makes the most sense i uh i think so too all right i have to check it Mortal police. What new name do you adopt among these strangers? And where do we go to? So we're on the way to East Anglia here. Yep, yeah, that would be uh, that would be most likely somewhere along the coast of Germany, yeah. Holland, or northern France, I suppose. <laughs> to a small wine man. <laughs> yes, off the coast. Uh yeah, I'm thinking Frisia, right? Frisia, the, the old. Uh, it's, uh, at this at this time, it was. Uh, I mean, it was probably honestly some sort of Franks who were doing things here, right? Frisia. Uh, the Frisian realm. So here, defeated by the Franks. Yeah. Mm. Under under Carolingian rule. All right. So we uh, we jump ship Frisia, which is today's uh, like Belgium and Netherlands, pretty much. Yeah, it'd be Netherlands part, probably more so than uh, the Belgian part. But yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Um see here then dutch name <laughs> well i think we just take something um yeah like maybe even like a saxon name mm -hmm. seems like that's a good way to hide and it is close to saxony Ooh. so uh You know, old almond. <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, barend, which is uh, which means bear in Dutch. I mean, we we're named Bjorn, so yes. Uh, all right. Bear end. <laughs> uh, all right. So which which of a uh... I mean, which of these? Um, I on? am thinking number three here. Yeah. Because he, he showed us favor, and now we favor him. We save him. It's his life. Uh, yeah. Uh, on a journey toward sick ship. We uh, 
<laughs> I'm going there yet. Um, the stricken uh, ship. The, yeah, the fleet. Uh, sees, uh, sees and decides that the sick should burn to avoid the affliction spreading. Uh, I, I take the sick Shalmer Shalmer to or rather uh, through the sea to the coast of Frisia. Um, where I adopt the name adopt the name Arend Arend mm -hmm. all right it's a lot of lot in one memory but yes. um, <laughs> it's how it goes somewhere sometimes <laughs> It, it's supposed to be one sentence, but we we this is our story, damn it. <laughs> um uh, yeah. Well now we're in Frisia. Now in Frisia, we have Janmar with us. Glad with us. Um probably know something weird is up because you know we we maybe Oh yeah. <laughs> we maybe look a bit different and be cold and weird, but uh, we'll we'll see. I mean, we also have Duse. He also came with us. Yes, uh, you know, he's not a person; he's a no. belonging. Yes, so of you know, he, he just took him. Uh, maybe he's even the one who, who came up with the name. Yeah, maybe he speaks Frisian somehow. Maybe he is from here. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you can have the next role then. I just did this one. Oh, you did. Sorry. And I will. I will do the next one. Oh. Okay, we go forward two. Two six. Oh no! Is it the dreaded one? A mortal character begins serving you. Oh. Who are they? Why are they drawn to you? Create a new mortal character. Is it Dusa? <laughs> does Dusa uh, become a character and a resource? That doesn't really work, does it? No, it doesn't. Um. Okay, so uh, unless un it could actually, yes, I think I think it could. We just change the resource to uh, the loyalty of the loyalty of Dusa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Loyalty of Dusa. The learned, th and then we make do say the learned thrall, mm -hmm. <laughs> because because now he actually maybe he maybe he I don't know maybe maybe he saw that we saved Yalmer and he yeah. thinks that I mean he would also be dead if he would also be dead on that boat if we hadn't like done oh, yeah. what we did so and like, and maybe we kind of a jerk about it but you know. Maybe we can be redeemed, I guess. Maybe, maybe he sees something, or you know, maybe he's a strange, a strange land. He, maybe he's an opportunist as well in some regards, where he's like, you know, if I ingratiate myself, I won't be eaten. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I do think of him like as some sort of monk, probably traveled yeah. at some point, okay. uh, or, you know, a thing. Uh, but I don't know. Um, I mean, who else would be learned in Scandinavia at this time? Oh, that's but, true. This is definitely a monk. <laughs> he, um... Uh, he... Um... Yeah. I, th I think it's more like a, he... Fears what I am, but sees... That I can uh, save many. 
I think I think he he takes it positive. <laughs> he's an altruist. <laughs> he's like, he's oh, like, surely. I mean, he's a horrible monster now, but he saved Chalmer and me. Yeah, uh, there's a glimmer of hope. He so can't be all evil, right? That's so, true. Yeah. That's true. If this is the path that I have been been put upon mm -hmm. to face this evil, then mm -hmm. I will, whatever way, or something like that. Sure, sure. Um, that this is adding to memory four, then obviously. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Think. Um. We're um. Newly arrived in Frisia. Some small village off the coast, probably. I think I think Duse comes to us. We, we, we were like crawling yeah. out of the beach, right? Yeah. It's like, quickly, uh, you know, you know, I I know I know somewhere nearby. Exactly. Where you can hide out. There's an old monastery. Yeah, an old monastery. Once monks lived there. Yeah. So it takes us to. Yes, I like that. A, a ruin. You no. Know. Um. You say, uh, helps Kelmer and me hide from this, uh, from sun uh, in, in, in the ruin, an old Frisian monastery. Uh, he looks well it should be one to the, um, um it should be how do we feel about that right yes exactly so i'm thinking as it do the hell gentlemen i hide from the uh, hide from the sun in the ruins of an old Frisian monastery saying that even though uh, i have become a monster there Still, the chance of redemption and God's grace. That's what he says. He's like, oh, yes, I see the goodness in you and you can be redeemed. So how do we feel about this? Well, we're making him a person in our eyes. We are making him a person. <laughs> <laughs> so we sort of, we upstate him from itemhood, yes. you know. So an object. Um, respect, uh, uh, definitely. Maybe it's something like uh, I never really noticed he was there before. Uh, you know. No, so I like, but now I see him. Yeah. It's like we look over and we're like, oh yeah, yeah he's like a person with you know, you can like do stuff. Yeah, feelings and knowledge. And... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Right. Let's oh, hope we don't lose his loyalty. Yes, yes. The unfortunate. Uh, well, uh, I believe that is me. Hmm. Go ahead. Oh. The same one again. We second. go to the second part of mm -hmm. prompt text. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> a trusted mortal character betrays you in a surprising way. Lose a resource. Why did they do this? And why do you forgive them? Well, if it is someone that needs to be forgiven, we are keen to do that. It will be Yalmar, I think. Yeah. There, there, um. there, is, a, there is a definite, like romance going on here um even though yalmar probably like curses his, his bad luck and whatnot he, he he might still be recovering from the ordeal maybe we take a little sip from him every now and then to keep him sick mm -hmm. um traces in a surprising way yeah so he, he, one day he's feeling good enough and in the in the daylight he takes the arm ring and leaves he's going home He's, yeah, he's going to buy passage. Yeah, he lost his ship and he's taking our ring to, to be... We're clearly some sort of hideous monster. And, yes. Uh, he doesn't have forgiven us, necessarily. True. But we forgive him because he's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes. This, uh, this, this sounds good to me. All right. Um, so we lose a resource. We lose our, our, our treasured arm ring. Mm -hmm. Gave us. Um, and uh, which should this be on? The three. Again. Yeah, it is about that. Um, having uh, regained his strength, um, strength, Calmer leaps with my arm ring. Uh, his betrayal stings, or I would have done the same in his. <laughs> yeah, like you were like, oh, yeah, I can see why. Uh, leaves for home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like there's things back. he gave it to us, trusting right. us, and we royally messed up. Well, yeah. really, we did, but we feel like we did. We uh, blame ourselves. Yeah, but there's things that I forgive him. I would have done the same in his place. Also, plays into the opportunistic side of us. Yeah, yeah, we we get it. Yeah. He's, he's feeling better. He doesn't want to live with his monster uh, being a little blood doll for him. No. Nope. Um, instead, he's going to take his uh, ball and go. I, we, now, we, now, he lost the ship. He lost a lot of crew. Now, uh, now thinking more about Duce, I imagine him to be old man advisor from the Warhammer games. Oh. <laughs> I have come. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> we'll use your knighty orcs. And <laughs> great and mighty Lord. Lord. I have come to serve you. And Kirk was like, yes, old bird, do it. <laughs> Mighty Lord. Mighty I Lord. You. Uh, right? God. <laughs> I am part of a secret order, thousands years old. <laughs> Hide the grail. Uh, yeah. yeah, we will see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. It is loyalty. So, this memory you know. is done? It is, yeah. It's, uh, it's just, it just lives there now. Okay. We still remember it though. We're not, you know, forgetting anything. No. It's not been that long. Oh my. Well. All right. I will. I will roll again then. Do it. Well. Yeah. Okay. Go forward two. Prompt eight. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I don't remember what we landed last time. Oh, I don't know. Hear it. Um. um you are recognized for what you are by another creature like yourself. Create an immortal character. Lose a resource for a source, but gain a skill. What did you lose to them? Hmm. So what can they take from us? We have loyalty and an axe. <laughs> we do. We sure do. Um, and they take something from us. We, we, something is vain. Because we lose, though. we lose a resource. Do you take the loyalty of Deuce and the Learned Thrall? How do you take they that? Might. Um, we certainly would seem less unique. You're recognized to what we are by now. I feel like we live in this monastery right now. We do. Like, got the basement of the wine mm -hmm. yeah, cellars, like that we can hide in that. Yeah. Um, Creep into but, an old barrel or something to sleep. Maybe maybe it's like a you know, do say is it beginning to try to repair the old monastery. Yeah, maybe. No. Um, and there's another creature like ourselves who comes to recognize. I think maybe so it's a Draugr, right? A Draugr? So well, that's kind of like ourselves, right? That's true. Or or is that just an incarnation of what we are? Is there a it can be it's an immortal, right? So it can be any form of supernatural sort of weird creature. Well, no, it's it's by another creature like yourself. Like myself, okay. Yeah. So it's something like us. 
Some sort of vampire esque uh, creature. Yeah, maybe here's his thing. Maybe we're not the only person that got turned on that boat. Maybe. Maybe someone else got turned and flipped in the water and has now come to find this same place. And it's like, you're you're like me. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't know, takes our axe. <laughs> Takes our axe. Yeah, maybe we. I mean, we we might fight them off. Be like, no, this is our monster. We have claimed this. We grab our oxen cle yeah. cleaver for the first time. It sees battle, uh, and we, we we use it to fight the creature off. The axe breaks like in the in, in the whole hullabaloo of it, mm. uh, but it did yep. its job and it finally tasted battle. Yeah, I think I think that works. Like it's a, it's a he, he's desperate too. Yeah. You know? Uh, is it immortal? Mm. No. What, what's a Norse name? We need to. Let's see here. It is. A, it's a Halvard. Halvard, sure. Yeah. You remember his, his actual name? Halvard. Uh, we don't know his last name, though. Uh, yeah. uh, another. Uh, turned by Weber. Um, we uh, uh, no, yeah. we fought, and I broke my axe upon on its hide. And that leaves him a mark. Yeah. Okay. What skill do we get? Uh, yeah, I mean, something related to fighting the supernatural, then, I, I suppose. Sure, sure. Right? Like, we, we, we fought him probably over several nights trying to, you know, trying to... The one thing about Draugr is that it's so impossible to destroy them. That's true. Right? Um, <clears throat> like a dead slayer, although we didn't slay him necessarily. I think I think maybe we could just say uh, something like blooded. Blooded. In that we have actually seen real battle now. True. True. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Before we we hadn't really, uh, but now we have. From battle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's memory memory. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, it goes to this one, right? Yeah, I suppose it goes to number five, yeah. <clears throat> so we got a found card beneath the shirt uh, uh, I saw another who was turned as I was found and recognized. We fought, um, yeah, um, and I sent him fleeing to another hiding place. Uh, we should put some names on there, though. Halvard. Um, Hal, 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 Halvard. Another who was... Uh, as I was expecting this one, we fought something to another hiding place. Yeah. Another racking. What? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's short and simple. All right. Uh, yeah. He should not show it back up. No. Go, go away. Up. Find your own monastery. <laughs> it's a creepily hangout in. Okay. We're not. He basically probably found or like heard that there were people here and came to eat us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's, that's right. Uh, so I seen that we we're one of one of us. Okay. Well, All right. we should be, remember to record the prompts on here. Oh yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. Of course. We had we had like six. We had a six. Yeah. Eight.
There we go. Game says keep the chrono chronology. Yep. We we're we're um we're not old enough to start forgetting stuff quite yet. No. Not yet. But soon. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. install or something. Getting there. Also, See, um, a lot of stuff's happened. A lot of stuff has happened for sure. Uh, see what happens next. Roll away. Uh huh. Backwards three. Five. Oh no. Uh, well, you, you read it right. You murder someone you love or respect rather than let them expose you. Kill a character, take a skill. If you have no living characters, kill no one and create a beloved mortal character who you have betrayed. Well, beloved. Yalmar, yeah. right? Yeah, is he still around? Yeah. I think he's still trying probably to secure oh, a passage yeah. home. Yeah, and he's gonna go tell people. He's gonna go tell Gunda and yeah. and everyone. You you realize when he gets home, Gunda and everyone yeah. is gonna hear this. Yeah, they're gonna hear what we became. What we became? Not not the not the honor like the the uh, dressed in glory Viking Reaver. Yeah. No. We we'll we'll seek him out at night. A curse. In, in in the place he stays, mm -hmm. we confront him, and, yeah. and he says that that he will. He is? No, he's not staying. No, yeah, he's going home. You have become yeah. cursed with, with like the curse of, of hell and the Draugr. So like, let's look at what we have. We have Hack and Cleave, Bloodthirsty, Blooded from Battle, or Carouser. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bloodthirsty. I'm bloodthirsty. I think, we, I think we drink his blood. I think yeah. we, in, in a fit of rage, you know, there's a struggle. We, we wrestle. I don't think it's like, I don't think he draws a weapon on us. No. We grab him and we just sort of instinctively you know, we train yep. him. Yep, we train him. Oh boy. Prompt. Oh yeah, more. All right. Well. Yeah, I feel like that goes on two. Yeah. No, it doesn't really fit with the first one, but with the second one, it does. Not two, so certainly. Uh. Yeah, and certainly fit on the second one. I mean, or we forget the second one and open a new one. Get the second one. Characters are dead. All of them are dead. Yeah, I think I think we forget this. And we can get Adelstein. Adelstein, right, yeah. who? Move it, like yeah, move it, it down to the bottom and. Like he up. made a song. What? What do I care? Like songs? I haven't heard singing in years at this. Point. Yeah. How how did the attack go? <laughs> Great, bad. Uh, well, Shifting messages. Yeah. yeah, I mean, time is passing, right? So, I mean, it's passing. What is it? it says around eight prompts. We should about have a time skip. So, uh, we're, we're, we need to, we need to get back home if you want to get back home. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so far, it makes sense that there hasn't been a it hasn't been too much. And it says like the first 10, eight or 10 or so is the first year, two years. So, um, uh, and like, um, this should start, it's a new memory, right? So it's mm -hmm. like the beginning of something. Yes. Um, something, um, as I drain Calmer's blood 
I shake off the red haze and see what I have done. His betrayal. And even now, could not outshine my own. Thoughts? Uh, I like it. Do the character check a skill? I don't think we pray though. We we're, we're not we're we're, we're pagan. Even so, we can we can pray if we're pagan. Uh, sure. Uh, Hope. Um, at least he died in battle, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, I mean, we tell ourselves that, right? Yeah, uh, we'll tell ourselves that. We gave him the we, death. We condemn him to hell forever. <laughs> oh. Yelmer, you Yelmer. just told us that you would keep our secret. You have just stayed with us. Just stay with us. You do this. Oh, your man. ship. I was even there. <laughs> well, uh, all right, your turn. Roll the dice and yeah. we'll see what, what happens to us then. Okay. Board five. So that's ten. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, five. Oh no. It's oh. the dreaded one. <laughs> Why do we get well, this well, again? Well, well, well. <laughs> the stars pinwheel above you in the night. The seasons are below. You are, you are as an automaton, unconscious of the passage of decades. A century passes. Strike out of memory. Strike out all mortal characters. All right. Here we go again. We have we have lived in the uh, the monastery here, slowly rebuilding it. Yeah, uh, cover. Yeah. Century passes, which means that our our love is dead. Yep. Dead. So is Duse, which leaves us in the awkward position of having his uh, a resource related to him, which I suppose. Uh, we can we can change to uh, whatever. What, what do you think Duce mm. left us? I mean, but that doesn't need to be defined currently. That's true. It's you just he left us some books. out of loyalty. There, he there, left there, us something. There's something, yeah. Right. His loyalty uh, can be called strike out of memory. What do we forget? Oh man, uh, not who we are. And I drink out of blood after raid cattle turns to me. Maybe this one. Maybe three we could forget, certainly. Yep. Girls mm -hmm. for Duce, and we haven't forgotten Duce yet. On the way to Anglia, the ship was sick. That's our turning. No, I think it's got to be... I think it's got to be... I think it's got to be the raid and the arm yeah. ring. Yeah, yeah. It's so far. The arm ring is gone. The raid is century old at this we, point. We wanted to earn Yalma's respect, but we didn't. No, we killed him instead. It's better, too. Yeah, yeah. This This goes... Also means we're no longer using the name Baron, but uh, true. We're back to uh, uh, Ragnar. We've forgotten. Nobody cares anymore. We're just the old, the old sort of Danish, you know, the old strange Dane who lives the higher strange, person. Yeah, the strange Norseman who has taken up a, a, a life of solitude in the priory. Yeah, uh, very pious. Very pious, cared for, maybe do say provided cover for us. Maybe that's part of his oh, loyalty, yeah. right? Probably. As you said, restored it in a sort of way, but there is no really real piety there. It's no congregation, no. It's just, you know, most of it's still ruins, but there's like a small kitchen or something. You know, he, he hoped maybe he could find something here. Yep. And maybe even in the in the end believed that we had. Yeah. Mount assaulted. He probably was the one we fed from, too. Probably was, yeah. Uh, well, we strike out a memory. We do make a new one, right? Uh, yeah, with this. This creates a new memory, so. So, something like... Um... I mean, he, he is in a situation where he, he killed the man he admired. Uh, I could not uh, return home. 
uh, nor could I go uh, uh, to reave the land. No, that's um. Mm, the land, uh, the, the land of my uh, aspirations. Bit awkward, but you, you know, get what I'm saying, right? I uh, I stayed with Ducey till his end, and in the small monastery and where he now dwells forever. All right. Like that? Yeah. We, we, we've stayed here. We, we've lived here. We've, yep. We could not go home. And so basically it's a, what, what can we do? Yeah, what can we do? We'll stay here. Exactly. It's just uh, uh, rust into this, this world of men. Yep. All oh. right. Uh, yeah, let's see what else uh, happens. <laughs> All right, and roll the dice, my good man. It will. Six. No, 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 Sixteen. Now. Okay. Some mortals have banded together to hunt you, well armed and wise to your tricks. How do you defeat or evade them? Create a mortal hunter related to one of your checked skills. Pick a skill. Boy. Uh, all right, so it's probably the bloodthirsty one. Yeah, we need food. Goose is no longer here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we go get it from somewhere. Now, what's happening? It, we, you know, time has passed. Time has passed. What, what's happening in Frisia? Uh, we are in the mid 900s at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, well, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, uh, it became actually while we've while we have been here, yeah. it has been occupied and now recently liberated from Danish Vikings. Okay. That's probably why we've been able to hang out for so long without any trouble. <laughs> uh, and why now people come for this Danish Viking looking fellow. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, uh, indeed. Yes. And now, uh, Independent Frisian lords are gonna over. Yeah, when like exactly when they were to drive the Vikings into. Yeah, well, some of the Vikings had settled and sort of Christianized to to become basically Frisians, but the but a lot of them are driven out. That's ruling class. So um, we don't know any of that. Obviously, uh, we've mm. just been here. Uh, but they're wise to our tricks. They're wise to our fighting style. Uh, Yes, because they have been fighting Danish Vikings for, you know, several decades now. Yeah. Still, I think we hack and cleave them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hack and cleave. How do you defeat them? We, we, we kill them all. With kill, kill them all. <laughs> we just, just rip and tear. His axe is weighted. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> or I mean, we, we have vampire strength and capabilities. We just rip their throats out, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, all right, they, they come for us. Yeah, we're not currently a character, so we kill all of them pretty much. We just shatter them in such a way yeah, that yeah, they can come back. Okay, uh, I feel like that's a continuation of the one we just made. Yeah, it's something like the thing that ousts us a bit from the monster, maybe. Like yeah, stir, stirs us a little bit from our oh. from our autom automation. Mm -hmm. We emerge like really, and then you see the pitchforks outside, and we're like, oh. Oh. oh well, really? Oh. <laughs> Itch. <laughs> uh, having and uh, uh, for a long time in the same place, uh, I attract unwanted attention. From the newly emboldened Frisian uh, uh, lords, mm -hmm. they come hunting 
for uh for the strange viking said to well in the theory I skilled and arm and well armed are here some and ready for a fight I some um, that against the <laughs> very word here through strength of hell they are nothing rip them asunder a bit long but it's the kind of thing that when I was a Danish classes, my teacher would say, use punctuation. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. And uh, we kill him. Yep. So that's nice. Uh, and then we should create a mortal hunter related to a checked skill um, who now like gets to... We, we kill right. these guys who come for us, and now he's like, oh. oh someone survives. The, the leader of the band perhaps survives. All right, so... I, I, think, I think it's the lord. Yeah, the, uh, the Frisian lord. Yeah, he, he didn't go himself. He sent his people. Oh, sure, and sure. Now we killed him. But he's like, oh. Uh, you know, whatever Frisians would say. Um, yeah, uh, plays <laughs> yeah, what would a Frisian say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we should have uh, a Dutch a Dutch name. If we can find a Dutch name for this guy, um, uh, we'll make him like a like a like a Baron something like that. How about Rorik? Baron Rorik, sure. Rorik of ah, he's Baron of some place in Brazil. Uh, yeah, Baron um, Rorik. Um, you know, if I had if I had a, a, a t 10th century map of Free CI, we could probably pick something. But <laughs> of the damned in the north, he probably sees as some sort of scourge. Mm -hmm. I killed uh, the men he sent for me. Yep. Right, he, he's yes. out there. Yes. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll meet again. Check the skill. Um, kill these people. How about a Baron Rorg Norse Slayer? Oh, sure. Because, you know, he, he fought the Norsemen, he drove them out, and he's wise to their tricks. Yeah. Uh, Norse Slayer. All right. Oof. All right. Uh, let's, yeah. uh, let's take a short break here because I need to visit the bathroom. Sure. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna roll the next prompt. See you then.